We're nearly halfway through. It's the Andy Snow Radio Show. 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 Show. It's the Andy Snow Radio Show. Show. So at this time, uh, we're going to hold fire with the Eurovision Song Contest for just a moment or two because coming up to Theatre Cluid next week, uh, from Tuesday in fact, Tuesday the 15th of May, running until the 2nd of June, is uh, Tennessee Williams' A Streetcar Named Desire. And it is being staged by the English Touring Theatre Company and uh, they will be coming to Theatre Cluid next week. And uh, and I caught up uh, yesterday with uh, one of the actors of the show, Mr Joe Mann, uh, to tell us all about what, it, what we can expect from uh, from this production, and uh, he started off by telling me uh, a story about he got he got injured he got injured on stage. Ooh, it made me feel a bit quenchy. It did. Anyway, here he is, Joe Mannion. Enjoy. So, where, are you are you in the theatre now? Are you st- uh, sort of at your digs or what? Um, I'm at the theatre now because I came to I had a bit of an accident last night. <laughs> no, I had to leave the theatre very quickly. Oh. Um, so I had to come back and sort of like sort of my bag and stuff. Oh, right. But uh, we've, we've got a late show tonight. So yeah, I ended up, uh, I cut my hand open and I ended up in hospital. Oh, you're uh, joking. <laughs> awesome. Little adventures. It's fine, though. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, have you had stitches and whatnot? Uh, like basically, just glued me back together. Yeah. Sort of like um, grabbed two sides of my finger and slammed it back together and put some glue in and that was it. So... What, did you do it during the show? Yep, in the middle of the show. Oh, and God. I couldn't continue. Well, I finished the scene, and then I got off, and uh, the rest of the cast was just a bunch of heroes, because, like, um, one of the girls played one of my parts that I do, and then someone else played another part that I played at the end. Another scene that I was in was just cut, but they managed to get through the show. That's amazing. That's astonishing. Yeah, it was really, like, it, it was insane. It was really good, you know, just seeing them all there, like, pulling together while I was just waiting for a taxi with half my finger hanging off. <laughs> Seeing them all go, right, well, I'll do this part and then someone get a script and I'll study these lines. And yeah, it was... Man, that's, that's professionalism at its best, isn't it? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> God. Show must go on and all that. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I did it in the middle of the scene and, um, and like, I was, first of all, I tried to, like, stem the bleeding just by, like, sucking my finger. Oh. And then it wasn't stopping, so I tried sucking it in my pocket and then obviously I couldn't do the whole uh, scene with my hand in my pocket, so I just took my shirt off and wrapped it around my hand. Apparently, people in the audience didn't do this. <laughs> oh my god what a great way I, I, when I when I envisioned having an interview with you I didn't think it'd start like that <laughs> that's, that's yeah, insane that's touring adventures oh well I hope you recover alright mate that sounds uh... yeah I'll be fine but cheers <laughs> god so uh, how long have you got left there then you finish in that venue tomorrow do you or have you finished there now we finish finishing also tomorrow and then yeah we're off to to lay down Tuesday we Open to it. Oh, brilliant. And is there a good time? Is there a good time and a bad time to tour, or does it not really matter? I don't know. This is actually my first tour. Oh, is it? Um, yeah, I've been working. Yeah, I've been working since I was 21, but I've never done a tour. Wow. Um, and yeah, so this is, this is a really good one to start with, you know, because uh, it's a really good company, English Touring Theatre as well. They've you know, been really helpful in terms of helping us sort out all our digs and yeah. anything we need, they to help us. And the rest of like the actors and all the stage crew are really. Really good crack, so so yeah, it's been a wicked one to start off with, to be honest. Excellent. And it's quite a nice tour, isn't it? It's not massive and it's not too short. It's, it's, what, it's about four months? No, exactly. It's like about four months or something. We've got some really nice places. You know, we went to Bristol, Vic. We were in Cambridge last week, um, Oxford this week. We were up in the Lake District as well, which is beautiful, although rainy and cold. Yeah. Uh, but, um, yeah. We've been really lucky, I think. And I can tell. I, I was told by uh, Izzy in the office there that um, that you're you're half Spanish, half Welsh. I can t- I can hear the Welsh in your voice. You can hear the Welsh, yeah. And that, that is right. Yeah, I was born in Spain. I moved to Wales when I was, uh, I was about five. Moved to Pontypridd. All oh, right. So and you can speak yeah. both languages, yeah. No, I can't speak Welsh. No, I can't. Well, I would love to speak Welsh. You know, I, I'm starting to hear like Welsh folk music since I moved to Spain because I've been based in Spain for the past eight or nine years. Oh, have you? Yeah. So did you train at the Welsh College or...? Trained in London and Rose Bruford. Yeah. And then, yeah, I graduated and I just got offered work in Spain straight away. So I said, yeah, go to Spain, see what happens. Yeah. 
and I ended up being there until this job just happened. Actually, this is my first like job back in the UK. Wonderful, and you've never you've never played back and forth. You've never played theatre Clued before then, no? No, but uh, when I was about 15, 16 maybe, I did the Shell Connections programme, which, um, you know, they sort of, they have new writers for like people that are studying drama and stuff and use theatre groups. And we did a play and we did it at the studio theatre, which was nice. All right, so brilliant. I can't remember it, so I was 15, but yeah. uh, I remember having lots of fun. Yeah, oh, it's a lovely, uh, it's a lovely theatre. I think you don't appreciate it when you're younger, to be honest. You know, I used to work, yeah, I, can't I used to work there. That. That's the nice thing about this, that we're going to be there for three weeks as well, you know? Yeah. That sort of does help you settle a bit and get a bit of routine, so... Uh, and you're coming home. <laughs> home to Wales. And coming home, exactly. Yeah. yeah and I get to go, go back to Ponty on the weekend and see the boys, and see my family, and we still all live there. And my sister's just had a baby, so... You know, oh, wonderful. Oh, you can do it proper then. Yeah, looking forward to it. Great stuff. <laughs> and, um, I mean, th this play, The uh, Streetcar Named Desire, I mean, it's a, it's a classic, of course, but... I mean, I, I, I wonder how many people actually know the story of it. Can you give us a quick synopsis? Um, yeah, well, OK, a quick synopsis. We, we tried to do this on, like, the first day rehearsal, actually, and we found out that none of us could do it well, so I will give it my best shot. <laughs> All right. Um, it's about a guy called Stanley who was married to a gal named Stella, and Stella's sister comes to visit Blanche. And it's basically that, you know, Stanley and Stella live like in a small house. Stanley is a very sort of manly man, you know, with some sort of, yeah, bit of toxic masculinity vibe going on, which I think is very relevant for today and everything that's going on at the moment with the old Me Too movement. Yeah. And, yeah, basically just the, the journey that they have uh, in that little enclosed space and the community that surrounds them over a period of months. And is little clashes that arise between them, you know? Uh, yeah. It looks like it's... Uh, is it a thriller? I wouldn't say thriller, I'd say more a drama. Right. Because it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty intense, I'm going like. But there's also, like, a lot of, you know, there's a lot of lighter moments, there's a lot of comedy. There's a big focus on the relationship between uh, Stella and Blanche as well, which I think is very important, because before I'd read it, you know, a lot of times, I'm a big Brando fan, so I've seen the film, and I always had... Whenever I thought of Streetcar, I had in my head the image of, you know, Marlon Brando just like on his knee shouting, Stella! <laughs> yeah. And uh, after doing this, it feels like a play that is very much about Blanche and the whole world that revolves around her. And I think actually that's how it should be done. So, yeah, I'm really sort of happy to be doing it. Like I said, the director's sort of vision for the play fits in very well with it because it's contemporary. It was written in 1947, but set in 2018 in New Orleans. I'm really happy to be doing it. Fantastic. Fantastic. I mean, I was going to say to you then when you when you said when you did your Stella thing, have you seen The Simpsons yeah. when they do it? And that, Flanders. Yeah. Of yeah. I have. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's brilliant, isn't it? Because it's like one of the this is one of the things that are like uh, people just have that image of the place, don't they? The whole Stella. And yeah. Sort of referenced in popular culture so often that. Um, doing something now that actually takes me away from that um, in a positive way just then um, yeah just makes me feel really lucky to be part of it to be honest yeah fantastic well I'm, I really look forward to seeing it I, I think I'm coming next I think Friday we, we've all been invited to come over and, and see the show so uh, I'll, po I'll pop up in, in the bar and Friday. say hello brilliant yeah I'll see you in the bar after the show perfect lovely to speak to you mate okay take care yourself yeah you too mate thanks very much cheers okay. bye bye well, you must go, and I must stay, oh, you go yours, and I will go my way. I'm going home, my baby, don't ask me why. I'm going home, but it feels like I could die. So there you go, and that is Joe Mannion, and uh, he's coming up to Theatre Cluid next week uh, from the 15th of May until the 2nd of June with uh, a streetcar named Desire. Touring company, and uh, they're going to be here for uh, two, two to three weeks. I think it said three weeks. I can't quite work it out, but anyway, there you go. Uh, if you would like to get tickets uh, for this show or indeed anything else coming up to Theatre Cluid, uh, box office number 01352 701521. That's 01352 701 
701521. Streetcar Named Desire coming up to Theatre Cluid next Tuesday. Ooh, exciting. It's the Andy Snowden Radio Show. It's the Andy Snowden Radio Show. It's the Andy Snowden Radio Show. It's the Andy Snowden Radio Show.